Hello guys, in this script demo, I'm going to be showing you a script that can help you by activating your frequently used windows such as Chrome or Windows Explorer and switch between multiple instances of those windows using hotkeys. If you're interested in this topic, please continue watching. Alright, welcome back. So in this script, we've got three hotkeys, a hotkey that works by pressing Ctrl and Numpad 1, and Numpad 2, and Numpad 3. Now these hotkeys are mapped to uh, the particular types of windows that I frequently access. So I've got Chrome here, and then I've got Site, and I've got Explorer Group, which is for the Windows Explorer. So how this works is, if I run this hotkey, and then let me go ahead and open up Chrome, now, I'm going to send Chrome back to the background by clicking Site. Now, if I go ahead and press uh, the first hotkey, Control Numpad 1, this is going to bring up Chrome to the front. It's going to activate Chrome. Now, there's quite a few lines of codes to do that, and that's because when you have multiple instances of Chrome, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and create another instance of Chrome like that. When you do a uh, win activate, normally, it's just going to activate the first instance of Chrome that it finds and by having these lines of codes what it does is it will allow you to switch between the instances of Chrome if you have more than one so if I go ahead and press control and number pad one it will activate one instance of the the Chrome and then if I go ahead and press the hotkey again it will activate the other instance of Chrome I can go ahead and create as many instances of Chrome as I want and running the hotkey will just switch between these instances of Chrome. Alrighty. So how this works is when you run the hotkey it will create a group called Chrome group. This can be any name. Um, and then what it does is it will add, it will go and find the all auto hockey class Chrome widget win uh, which is if you run Windows Spy which comes with the uh, installation of AutoHockey as a standard uh, script. You can see that the AutoHockey class of Chrome is Chrome Widget Win underscore one. And that's what you use over here to identify all running instances of Chrome into this group called Chrome Group. And then what it's going to do is it's going to check whether you have any instances of the Chrome activated and if so, it's just going to switch to another instance, the next instance of Chrome. If you don't have any Chrome instance activated, then it's going to activate probably the last active instance of Chrome. And once, once that instance of Chrome is activated, when you run the hotkey again, it will switch to the next instance of Chrome. That's the idea behind it. And all the rest, numpad2 and numpad3, is the same. You use Windows Spy to find out what is the class of site window. Um, for instance, I'm going to go ahead and create another instance of site. I have covered this in a previous tutorial, so please go watch that if you want to learn how to create another window of site. Now, what numpad2 is going to do is it's going to do the same thing um, except that this time it's going to create a group of site windows so let's uh let me run it control number pad 2 will activate the first one number pad 2 again will activate the second one uh, same thing goes for number pad 3 this time it uses the window explorer so and i could down here you can see that I have used the exe version of uh, the way to identify the window instead of class but either way will work and uh, if I press control number pad 3 actually let me just open up some chrome windows as well and show you it's getting pretty messy but let me Go ahead and press control number pad 3. It will bring up my window explorer. And then another one. 
and then if I go ahead and press control number pad 2 site the other instance of site and control number pad 1 chrome and chrome uh, this is it for this uh, script demo I understand that there is a Windows native way to do this which is to press the win key and the number key but this is an alternative for that. Thank you for watching this video and if you want to access this script please continue watching this video until the end.